my name is Mats Rydell. I'm one of the two founders of a Danish text mining company called Onsilo. We are a small startup working with applying uh, machine learning to scientific publishing. Yeah. We're in the fortunate position of uh, having a deep partnership with uh, Springer Nature. We've worked with them for over three years uh, to build uh, value-added services, as we say in, in, in the business, uh, on top of their content. And uh, right now we're in, engaged in a, in a long-term project uh, to build better text understanding and sort of interrogation of content, sort of uh, natural language uh, interrogation. We actually started trying to build a portal, uh, a destination site where scientists could search, kind of a competitor to Google Scholar. But uh, after a couple of years, we had to abandon that because we couldn't get access to, to content, uh, at least not as comprehensive a coverage as is needed to build a service like that. Well, eventually, we had to pivot into uh, providing our services as uh, components on top of publishers' platforms. So today, we're, um, we're, we're partnering with publishers to provide value inside their platforms rather than outside. I think one of the most, uh, most important things is access to content. Uh, I think uh, open access uh, and the, um, the adoption of that uh, in recent years is doing wonders uh, and making it easier for us to collaborate and, and, and find inspiring research to move everything forward. I have this feeling that, that we're going to see uh, more of a convergence towards um, intelligent uh, solutions. Um, we've been doing a lot of analysis on behavioral data for many years, trying to optimize business processes based on collaborative filtering and, 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 and showing very popular things to users because that tends to work and it tends to drive business. I think in the future uh, our researchers will be uh, having higher demands and they will want more advanced services than we can, uh, that we can do by just delivering the most popular content to them. They will want to ask questions. They would want to have their research process augmented with more intelligent tools that can answer simple questions right off the bat or lead them to more interesting research questions that can't be solved automatically.